right, so in this video I'll be talking about the concept of open sets and why they're so useful in topology. And basically, an open set really is just, it's a set where for every point you can draw an open ball around that, around that point. And so let's just, let's get right into it. So let's let u be a subset of x, which is, you know, some larger set, and then let little x be an element of u. And so if for every x there exists an open ball of radius r around that point, of course, obviously greater than zero, then u is open. And that is the definition of an open set. And there's other equivalent definitions of an open set, which talk about epsilon neighborhoods. But again, this is just, it's just really the same thing as what I'm talking about now. So anyway, so, so let's take a look at this uh, uh, situation. Suppose we have the closed interval from negative one to one, and we're gonna use the, the real number line. So let's, our u here is x is a member of the reals such that um, x is between negative one and one. Is this an open set? Now, uh, checking to see sometimes, well, intuitively, we can, we can, you, you probably already could guess that this is a non-open set because that's a closed interval. And you're right, it's not an open set, it's a closed set. Um, and, but why is that? How do we check uh, to see if it's, an op if it's an open set? Because this case is pretty, uh, this is, you know, this is more obvious, but in some cases it may not be obvious, especially when you're dealing with um, strange metrics. Um, anyway, so what we can do is we can check the boundary points, because that's, that's usually where, where we can, that's really what's the important thing. Let's, let's check the boundary points. So can we draw an open ball around negative one, uh, or, or one for that matter? And the answer to that is no, we can't, because I'm just going to, let's move it down here. Because if we want to draw uh, um, a ball of radius r around negative one, yeah, okay, then we know that the, the, the radius is, is not going to be anything greater than zero. The radius is going to be equal to zero because there is no point outside of negative one. Remember, our definition here is x is between negative one and one. There's no negative, there's no negative one point zero 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 one, so on and so forth. And because the radius is, is equal to zero, we cannot draw an open ball around that point, and we cannot draw an open ball around one in, in, this, in the same way. And because there exist points that you cannot draw an open ball around it, therefore the set is not open. And also another, another an important note to, to make here is that the closed set, which I'll get into in other videos, but the closed set is the complement of the open set. However, there are cases where the open, where a set can be neither open nor closed, and sometimes it can be both. And um, so it's important to, to know that just because a set is not open does not necessarily mean that it's, it's closed. In a lot of cases it is, but not always. And another interesting thing to note about this is, notice that we didn't talk about anything about the metric. The metric is not really, when discussing open sets, uh, we don't have to talk about a metric. And that is nice because we can generalize on um, other, uh, this is good for topology because topology is not necessarily, you don't need a metric because all, all metric spaces are topological spaces, but not every topological space is a metric space. So essentially it's, it's like one level of abstraction higher, if you want to think of it that way. And so let's take a look at this case. Let's suppose, you know, we have the open interval, you know, from zero all the way to infinity, I guess. And of course, we can write it like this. We have, you know, x, let's, let's, let's call our set v this time. So v is a subset of the larger set x, which I, I, you know, really is just r. I'll just put r. Really, we're talking about the real numbers. And so x is a member of the real numbers such that x is greater than zero. And is this an open set? And again, you probably already know the answer to this. It is an open set because even for zero, well, the point is not included. There's no zero is not included here. So for any point greater than zero, we can draw an open ball around it. Because the nice property of the reals is that if you know we can have zero point zero 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 dot dot one, we can always just extend that indefinitely. And then there will always exist. We can say actually, we can erase that for a second. We can say that for any point you give me, any point uh, x you give me, for for every x, there exists a delta such that delta is um, less than x. That's an, that's an important idea because for the real numbers, that, remember for real numbers, there's an infinite amount of real numbers between uh, any given, every, any two given real numbers. And that's, that's very nice because for integers it does not work out that way. And this kind of builds off what I was talking about in my video about the cardinality of open balls. And so again, so the whole idea here is that for every x, you, any x you can give me inside this set, there is a delta such that delta is less than x. And because of that, we can draw an open ball around every given point in this set. And because we can do that, the set is open. So v is open. So this is open. And in this case, this was closed. This was a, this was, this was a closed set. And um, that's, 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 what it, that's what it is pretty much. And... Um, so in the next video, I'll be talking more about closed sets. And then after that, we're going to be getting into some more interesting uh, properties of topological spaces. I'll talk about separation.